Chapter 4 Before lunch ended, I decided to find Ms. Adolf and have a little chat. She was sitting at her desk, finishing her lunch. Two big napkins covered most of her. Just her shoes were showing. They were gray. She was eating a banana that was so brown you couldn't even tell it had ever been yellow. May I talk with you for a minute, Ms. Adolph? I asked from the door. She waved me inside. I've been thinking a lot about my essay, I began. I'm glad to hear that, Henry, she said. What I've been thinking about exactly is that it would really benefit you if I don't write this essay. Is that so, she said. She tossed the banana peel into the wastebasket. In fact, I've spent a good part of my lunch period writing a list of ten really ex excellent reasons why I shouldn't write this essay. I pulled the piece of paper from my back pocket and flattened it out on her desk with the palm of my hand. There was a really big greasy smudge on it, and it really, really smelled like tuna fish. I have to admit it was pretty disgusting. Sorry, I said, trying to rub it off. It was tuna melt day. Just pretend it's a scratch and sniff. I smiled. Ms. Adolph didn't. That wasn't a very good start, but I had to think positively. I stood very quietly while she read the list. Ten reasons why Hank Zipser should not write a five-paragraph essay on what I did this summer. One, every pen I own runs out of ink. Two, my thoughts are controlled by alien beings who make me write in a strange language. Three, we couldn't go anywhere over the summer because my dog had a nervous breakdown. Four, I'm highly allergic to lined paper. Five, when I write, my fingers stick together. Six, if I sit too long, my butt falls asleep and snores, which keeps my sister awake. Seven, every time I write an essay, my dog Cheerio eats it for breakfast before I can get to school. So I try. Eight, my computer keyboard is missing 11 letters, V, C, T, S, M, and all the vowels, including Y and W. Nine, ten. The last two reasons were on the tip of my mind, but I just couldn't get them to the tip of my pencil. Ms. Adolph put down the list and looked up at me. This is very creative, she said. Creative. Creative is good. My plan was working. I hope you'll use some of this creativity in your essay, she went on. I look forward to hearing your you read your written words on Monday morning. Then she took my list, crumpled it up, and tossed it in the wastebasket. There was my creativity, I thought stuck to the top of a brown banana peel.